So this is um, Olushe's work. And what's interesting is, so I, I took it and I thought this was like rope, right? That is just sort of between um, two, uh, what would be handcuffs, but frankly could also be shackles. You know, interesting when we think about how policing um, came about to manage enslaved Africans in this part of the world. Um, and so, you know, you can make the connection shackles to um, handcuffs. But then what intrigued me was sort of, you know, and, and Olusha has been doing a lot of work with found items that he finds and puts together to again weave, interesting enough, the story of African life here in this part of the world. And um, so then I realized that this, when I got close, I realized this is actually a braid, not rope. And of course, it's evoking lots of things, right? Um, and in the I looked and I thought, oh, a sort of um, BDSM kind of play, like a power, but you know, why would BDSM is also about power relations, right? And when we think about the black body in this part of the world, and in the world for almost all of it, frankly, there is this tension. So I even like the idea of this sort of um, stretch. Um, and then you've got the, uh, you know, but on either end, wherever you end up, <laughs> you know, there is a shackle or there is a handcuff, right? Um, and then there are sorts of play with it um, that you can also engage with it in other ways too because there's also pain, pleasure, you know, all that kind of stuff that um, we try to rescue. And I think, you know, how do we get to engage in that play uh, free of the loaded history of enslavement and the abuse that happened with that. So that's what I'm taking away from it, Olushe. <laughs> I'm sure you'd have way more to say and explain more. And then of course, I just spoke with June Clark, which you'll see there. And then this is her work as well. And it's called, but I love the piece here. Right, but I love Anna Gardo. It's great fact for all of us because she had gotten her here. So she's telling the story of black life, but also women's lives, right? This is June's work as well. I love this idea. Notice how the reflection is like scales, like the weighing of scales, which is what it is, right? It's like one up, one down. And just because this work looks daring, but it's career and this is a whole vibe here. I just realized your work also tells the story of women's bodies. <laughs> like I just looked at the piece closer and it was all black light, but it's also women's lives, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was saying how when I look at the image of that piece as well, the reflection is kind of like, well, it's like a scale, even the reflection, you yes. see the kind of balancing act like, going yes. on. So that's really great. Wow, <laughs> thank you again. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Take care. Okay. Daniel is sort of doing some interesting things here. This is interesting. I got my camera up. I love this guy's work. He's got a loop in background and any herb farming. I'm a 
assuming queer, just because of the whole idea. But it no, may not be, because lots of straight people are into power. Wait, right? Yeah. Power play, sometimes sexual, but not necessarily. It's a even. And I remember this guy who told me how he liked when his partner would tell him to sit somewhere and not move. And he just do it for hours and how it's the biggest exciting turn on. And I don't, sometimes I think I ended in sex, but not necessarily. So, oh, did you? you know? Yeah. It was great. It's because. Awesome. this Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I love that jacket, man. Yeah, you're oh, sick. Playing with color and glitter and texture. And, you know, a Canadian tuxedo, too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The whole play. Love love. <laughs> Thanks.